Welcome to one more interesting episode from PeopleSoft channel. My name is Siva Khoya. Today we will discuss 1099 forms. Specifically, the most popular forms generated by companies every year using PeopleSoft system, which are 1099 non-employee compensation forms as well as 1099 miscellaneous forms. My agenda for today is to give you an idea what are these 1099 forms, who should receive it, and most importantly, I will show you step by step how to generate these 1099 forms out of the box from PeopleSoft system. Since now you know what's coming, let's not waste any more time and jump into it. Before I talk about 1099 forms, let's discuss about something we all are aware of. If you are an employee of a company, I'm sure you would have received W-2 showing you how much money your company paid you as salary. Your company also submits the same information to IRS so that government can track if you are paying taxes properly. What about the money that your company paid to non-employees like external consultants, landlords, etc.? That's when 1099 will come into play. The same concept. The only difference is your company this time issues 1099 forms to the non-employees. Just like W-2s, the same 1099 information will be submitted to IRS so that they can track if suppliers are paying their taxes properly. There are a lot of similarities. One of them is the deadline for companies to submit their W-2 information as well as 1099 NEC and 1099 MISC information to IRS is the same date, January 31st. If you don't know, there are several types of 1099 forms. For example, if you received dividends from your stocks, you would have received 1099 DIV form. Or if you earned any interest from your savings account, your bank would have sent you a 1099 INT form in the beginning of the new fiscal year and the 1099 list goes on. Bottom line is 1099 forms are used to report all kinds of earnings to IRS so that they can track and verify if everyone paid their due taxes. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this episode, we will focus only on popular 1099 forms used by companies. 1099 NEC and 1099 MISC forms. You might be curious why two forms that is determined by IRS and how they want to track different kinds of earnings. Which form to select? It depends on what kind of service a company received. For example, if your company hired an external consultant to redesign its website, the payment made should be reported in 1099 NEC which is non-employee compensation. In case of payments related to rents, royalties and healthcare, they should be reported in 1099 MISC form. If you don't know, until 2020, there used to be just one form, which is 1099 MISC form or miscellaneous form. In 2020, IRS changed rules and came up with a separate form to track non-employee compensation, which is 1099 NEC form and the second form 1099 miscellaneous form contains the rest of the boxes just like previous years. These are some of the IRS ground rules for companies to determine for whom should they issue 1099 NEC form. These are some of the ground rules for 1099 MISC form. In this episode, I just want to give you a high level overview on 1099 forms. We are going to do the fun part in my next episode, which is hands-on exercise. Let me give you a quick sneak peek of what's coming in my next episode. I will kick off by showing you 1099 setup in my PeopleSoft environment. 
then we will pick a supplier and mark the supplier for 1099 withholding. We will create a voucher, pay the supplier and then run payment posting process. Next we will run withhold posting process. Finally we will be running 1099 withholding jobs which generates 1099 file that can be submitted to IRS as well as 1099 forms that can be dispatched to all suppliers that received payment from your company. That's it guys. That's all I have for you today. If you like the content and would like to encourage me, don't forget to hit that like button below. If you want more of these videos, subscribe my channel. I will do my best to come up with quality content in an easy to understand language. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Until then, keep learning.